Good morning everyone. Welcome to the vlog. It's Trista here and today I am getting my back together and in order. So for the past month, so let's just say the holidays have been so crazy. I have been partying, chilling, just, you know, not doing anything, not doing anything with my life. I The only thing that was actually pretty positive about, about the holidays was that I was actually starting to work out more. I wasn't really like getting results quickly or I didn't feel like I was, you know, getting stronger. I just was going like a couple times a week and then then I would be then I would just go eat whatever I wanted, drink whatever I wanted, and I feel like I just need to get myself back in order. So this video is just me getting back into the groove of things. I woke up at 8 this morning. It's already 9.30 because I just takes me some time to wake up, but this is like pretty good for me. <laughs> if you guys have seen my other vlogs of me in college, I'm like, I'm not a morning person. Like it's so true. It really does take me some time. I'm really happy that I slept last night because I would be literally crying. I mean, my sleep schedule has been horrible. So this is like my goals for getting my shit together in 2020. Oh my god, I was about to say 2019. This is so crazy. How is it 2020? It just sounds weird. So first step is to work out every day. That's my goal. I want that to be my main goal. Work out every day, no matter what it what what it is. At least be active every day. So yesterday I went to the gym for only 10 minutes because I. But at least I went. You know, I was active for 10 minutes. I was on the stairmaster. I was going crazy, going ham. It's done. We already did it. <laughs> Monday's workout is over. But today's workout, it's gonna be a little bit more intense. I'm gonna do legs. I was supposed to do legs on Monday, but I have to do legs like at least twice a week. So I'm gonna do that today. Also to eat better. I want to eat cleaner. I want to cook my meals out as much. Plus, I'm just getting tired of eating out. Like, I just don't know what to eat anymore out. And I can literally just cook at home. And when I do cook, I'm like, wow, this is actually really, really good. And I can make new recipes, make food for my family. Third goal is to just feel good, get ready every day, clean my room. Just little things that I feel like I haven't been doing this holiday season, but I really want to take my fitness seriously and my health seriously because I every year I say I want to lose this much weight or I want to be healthy and then I just like don't do it so this year I really really do want to get into routine I feel like routines are the best way to accomplish a goal like if you're doing something every day even if it's little it's better than not doing it or doing it like one week and then taking two weeks off like at least you're trying to do it every day so today is get your together day and it's gonna be a day in my life so let's get started with the day let me clean my room We're done with the bed. I don't know where my throw pillars are. Pillars? Ah, when you're when you're southern, I don't know where my throw pillows are. But don't you guys like love this? It's so I love it. I think it's so cute. I think my mom bought me this comforter. I haven't had it on here in a while. Maybe this is my mom's comforter. I don't know. We all have king size beds, which is ridiculous. I know, but my grandma wanted to buy us this size bed. Yeah, my grandma bought me my bed. But yeah, so I mean, I'm gonna have this bed probably for I don't know how many years. She, that's what she wanted. She's like, I want to buy you a bed so you can have for many years. And I'm like, okay. So I picked this bed, which I don't know if I'm gonna have for so many years. I feel like it's cool for now like, until like I'm 30 or something, but I really like it. I like the black, I like the little cute little glitter thing. But this bed itself, like the mattress, is so soft, so good. It's pretty like, this is a forever bed. This is a bed for at least 10 years, I'd say. Maybe even more. I would say more than 10 years. I don't know how long beds last, but this bed, a keeper. Okay guys, usually I would drink like something caffeinated, like a coffee or a Celsius, but last night I, I went to the gym and I drank a Celsius and I knocked out, so does it work? I don't know. But yeah, okay, I'm gonna start packing up my gym bag and heading to the gym because I feel like I'm wasting a lot of time. <laughs> I think I'm gonna wear a sweatband today because I just feel like I need an extra oomph. Yesterday, only like I said, I only worked out for 10 minutes and I hadn't worked out since Thursday, so I'm like, no, honey, we need to work out. We need to do something with our bodies because I don't know, I just feel like, I don't know, I'm being anal about my body these days. Like, I really wanna look good, feel good, and all that stuff. You know what I mean? 
All right, so I'm gonna wear this sweatband today and see how that works out. I'm probably gonna sweat like crazy because I'm gonna do stairs today. Let's go to the gym. I think I'm gonna get a Celsius when I get there, but I'm gonna drink some water before because I just have this water bottle. I don't wanna like start like going to the restroom right when I get to the gym. Oh yeah, that's another goal of mine. Drink more water. I just feel like I haven't been doing that lately. I've just been drinking tea and Celsius and coffee and this is really what I need, water. So let's head out. did it today okay oh I feel great but I am officially tired wearing this sweatband really intensified everything I have never I'm so sweaty right now it's crazy like uh, oh my gosh I need to take a shower Woo! wow I'm hungry I need to take a shower and I probably need some coffee or something like that Oh my god, guys, we did the workout. We're done with today. Happy 2020, okay? This is the start of something new. Okay, so I'm done with my workout. That was tough. It was a lot. I kind of started working out again at the gym during, the, during December, like going a couple times a week. But now I really want to up my intensity and go every day or at least five times a week so so what am I gonna do now I think I'm gonna go eat something um, probably at home and let's head over there and start eating something healthy and get ready for the day okay I got really hungry all of a sudden so I'm going to be making some chicken and put this away I'm using avocado oil Actually, I think I'm just gonna make a salad. I have some spinach and some broccoli. I'm gonna cut it up and eat it raw with carrots. I think that sounds like a good meal. A grilled chicken salad. Simple, easy, fresh. Mm. So, right now I am brushing my hair and I'm going to do a light makeup look. Today, I really want to clean out my closet. I am getting to the point where I'm like, I need to do it. <laughs> I've been wanting to do it for like a week since, since the holidays are over and like, it's a new year. I just, I'm so over all of my clothes. Like, I, I hang up t-shirts and I just feel like that's not necessary. I can't see what I want to wear and I don't know, like all I have is like comfy clothes like this, like sweater. It's literally from Walmart guys like I just like the plain look these days but definitely annoying like the fabric kind of sucks so definitely I'm gonna do like a little like quick makeup look I'm gonna show you guys the products I've been using and how I do my makeup very quickly just don't want to put too much makeup on today I just feel like I'm gonna be here at home I can't believe I already worked out I'm very happy about that like I've been working out at night instead of the mornings and now I understand why Early mornings? Not early mornings. The mornings are way better. Like, I went to the gym at 9.30 and I didn't leave till 11. Like, I don't know what I'm going, like, really hard on my legs and I feel like it might be a little bit too much. Like, I'm getting, like, kind of bulky. So, I'm gonna do a little bit more cardio these days and... 
just walked and I walked like 20 minutes after my workout but I think I needed to go like 30 or 40. I just get so bored and I get so tired I'm like oh my god I need to work my way up. I just don't want to be bulky I just want to be lean but it's hard because it's not my genetic makeup you know. Okay so the first thing I'm using is this Kiehl's Kiehl's facial cream. This is my favorite cream or my favorite moisturizer. I feel like it makes me look a little bit more dewy. It's like really soaking in my skin like I'm so dehydrated. Hence this Yeti. Okay, I'm like chucking how much water I'm drinking in. So now I'm going in with foundation. I'm going to do this Estee Lauder Double Wear. I'm going to put a little dab. I'm not going to do too much. My friend did my makeup and she did. She put my foundation like this and I thought it was really smart. I feel like it spread it out a lot better. So I'm starting to do that. Put it on my hand right here and then um, use my finger to like spread it out on my face with my hands first and then use a beauty blender just to get like the creases in my nose like that part is always so hard to get so I like that little trick that she showed me and then you go in with the beauty blender and that's when the magic happens I just feel like it gets more even than just like patting it in like the same spots like a hundred times I'm looking for a new foundation I asked you guys on my Instagram which one should I use and I wanted to share all the posts but it wasn't letting me for some reason Instagram like was being was being glitchy and like kept on like booting me out so I was like what the heck you guys sent me a answer I saw it and I saw it I see you guys and I'm sorry that I didn't get to respond I wanted to I feel like if I okay back to what I'm gonna do today I feel like if I clean out my closet I'm gonna feel so good and I might be selling things and I just need to like get back into the groove I need to get back into the rhythm of things and get motivated again I just got so lost in 2019 I felt I've never felt so lost in my life everything I've done in my life I was guided I kind of you know no knew what to do I mean I don't know like going to college was a big step and then after graduating college I just felt so lost and 2019 was awesome in so many ways but in so many ways I was just so messed up I felt very like didn't know what to do I didn't know where I was going in life and that scared me so much so I kept on making excuses and I kept on moving and I kept on doing things that like you know gave me more time and I just never took responsibility for myself and just wrote down what I wanted to do had goals I just was so scared of failing I think that's what I was I was scared of failing and now I'm it's like a weird transition like once the holidays were over like once I was done self-sabotaging myself and doing things that were just not right for me I was like oh, okay this this makes sense like I think I want to just focus on me this year and take myself seriously get a job I haven't had a job guys since I graduated college like I just haven't had a job because because I just felt so lost like I was living in San Antonio for summer and I came back home in the summer so I had my break I had a break I was like okay I'm gonna just you know have a break relax have a good summer when summer was over in August I was living in San Antonio and I left San Antonio in October I just moved back home in October and I felt like okay like I moved back home I was really you know I had a lot of pride I didn't want to come back home at all I was just like there's no way I'm coming back home I'm gonna stick it out and and I'm gonna try to find a job and I felt so lonely I felt so lost I've never felt so it just wasn't right it didn't feel right in my heart to stay somewhere I just didn't really want to be like I never pictured myself living in San Antonio ever I always wanted to live in Austin or just somewhere else like I don't know I always wanted to live would want to live in a bigger city like LA or New York or something like that I just always felt like that's where I want to be somewhere bigger than just I don't know San Antonio just wasn't it I just I tried it I tried to get a job there. So that's where I was at. It's actually really nice talking about it because it's like, okay, like I know I messed up. I know I shouldn't have done that. I wasted a lot of time. But at the same time, it grew me and it made me feel like, hey, you know what? Like, it's okay. Things like that happen. I'm lucky to have a family that took me in and they were like, you know what? You're not doing well and you need to come back home. So that's why I came back home and I wasn't in the best shape mentally at all. So this year, I just feel like I want to work on my mental health, work on being healthy and 
being happy with myself and getting back on my feet so yeah like this youtube channel has basically it's been changing a lot i have been changing because i have changed i am not the same girl i was in, in college i want to show you guys my life i want to show you be motivating to you guys i want to show you guys where what i'm wearing what i'm eating working out just different things to motivate you guys because i like those are the types of videos that help me so much like i watch so many girls doing lifestyle and motivating videos and working and honestly like those videos made me feel so inspired and i want to do it for someone who was like me <laughs> in a bad spot and being so lost and feeling like you're not good enough or feeling that you you're gonna fail you're scared to fail i want to show you guys that you can do it you can bounce back things happen but you just gotta let them go i always think of a new year as like a new beginning for some reason and this year just feels so much much different I don't know why but it does I really want to show you guys that I'm coming back in a really big way and I'm gonna do everything I set my mind to this year and not be scared and just do it you just got to do it guys the worst thing that can happen is someone isn't gonna like it that should fuel your fire to be honest so done with that basically yeah guys this channel is changing a lot i because i'm growing i think and i think i needed to address that because i feel like the beginning of this channel was more trying to go viral and trying to be something that i am but also just like i rather just do me and show you guys my life and do vlogs i love doing vlogs i like this kind of stuff like this is just what i like to watch i like to watch people like people's lives like real people go through stuff i just want to show you guys what i'm doing with myself I'm I'm using this dip brow. It's called the makeup. It's by the makeup studio. It's a brand from the valley where I'm from So I don't know some guy gave it to me at Ulta for free and I was like, okay, that's pretty cool But I'm also using this Milani brow precise wait, precision brow. It's Milani. It's 140 medium brown I missed having a brow pencil and I didn't I didn't know which one to get but I really like the brand Mil Milani a lot Honestly good pencil great brand great drugstore brand. I don't know why it's so good I really need to I wish I had thick eyebrows so bad yeah, I mean, again with like wanting to change the way my channel is I just really do love videos like that get you motivated and get you doing things Like I love the type, those types of videos more I don't know, just something like that Like it just fuels me Like I love seeing motivational women motivate other women and do things like have businesses and make money like it's just really cool and i've been learning a lot by these youtubers and i just wanted to do the same with myself and just be motivated just be more motivated that's my main goal be more motivated to do things have a lot more goals than just i don't know whatever the wind blows like that's what i was doing for like the past eight months or past year like 2019 was such a random growing period but i feel like I'm, i've grown up now i've grown up a little bit more but i've been out of school and it's been great i've had a great gap year <laughs> i think i'm gonna get a job though guys i had a job interview yesterday so hopefully i get the job i still have to wait like two weeks but hopefully they call me so we'll see you guys i'll let you know if i get the job and we're gonna start doing work week some work week in my life and what i wear to work and stuff like that it's gonna get grown on here like we're gonna grow up together of course i'm still gonna sprinkle in some things because like honestly i'm a kid at heart i want to i really want to learn all the tiktok dances so i'm doing like the renegade dance and all that stuff like it's funny because I'm like, I say, I'm like, I want to be motivated. I want to show you guys I'm going to be a boss. And then I'm like doing TikToks. <laughs> like, I, it doesn't make sense. Like, I don't make sense sometimes. And that just makes me me. So I probably will sprinkle in some videos like that because I just love, like, being silly and being stupid. But yeah, I'm going to try to do more things that I'm interested in. Morning routines, face routines, stuff like that. Okay, I just did mascara. I used this telescopic mascara by L'Oreal. This used to be my favorite mascara in high school. It's my go-to. Um, I don't really use it that much anymore, but I like it. It's cute. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Imagine, just random. Like, that's my thumbnail. Okay, we're looking much better, I'd say. I'm liking this look today. I'm just chilling at home. I am going to start cleaning out my closet i think i'm procrastinating it also because i'm like i don't want to go in there like my closet is so small and i have to fold so much today i 
I really don't want to do this right now. It gives me anxiety. I don't know about you, but it really does give me anxiety. Y'all, I'm five feet tall. How am I going to get my heels from up there? Like, I definitely need a stool, but... This video is literally getting my life together for 2020 because it ain't together right now.